Originally, open walkways patterned after medieval cloisters ran along the north sides of both the West Range and East Range. Smithsonian planner Robert Dale Owen believed the cloister was appropriate for the free public college that he hoped the Smithsonian Institution would become. But the open cloisters proved impractical and were closed with the installation of windows shortly after the building's construction. In the 1870s, sculpture was moved into the cloisters from the West Range's central space to make room for ethnological exhibits primarily focused on North American Indians.